Hi, this is A-Level Mathematics, section Mechanics M1 and the code is 9709. The paper is from Winter 20. The question paper is 4, variant is 3 and question number is 4. The question is from Momentum and the question says two small masses A and B of equal radii of masses 4 kg and m kg respectively initially sphere b is at rest and a is moving towards b with speed 6 meters per second after the collision a moves with speed 1.5 meters per second and b moves with speed 3 meters per second part a asks us find the two possible values of the laws of kinetic energy now the question says to find two possible values for the loss of kinetic energy. So over here we have to realize that there are two conditions. Condition one is that after the collision of A and B, A moves in the same direction as B. And after the collision of A with B, A and B move in opposite direction. So we have to find two values of the kinetic energy. Now our first step will be to find the value of m. After finding the value of m we will find the initial and the final kinetic energy and then we will find the loss of kinetic energy for case 1 and then we will find the loss of kinetic energy for case 2. So first let's find the value of m for case 1. So as we know that the momentum is always conserved. So the momentum before the collision must be equal to the momentum after the collision. So before the collision the momentum is 6 into 4. Momentum is mass into velocity. So mass is 4 kg. 4 into 6 that's 0. So it's ignored. Equals 4 into 1.5 plus m into 3 so this will give us 24 equals 6 plus 3m and m 3m equals 18 and m for this case 1 will be 6 kgs So we have found the value of m for case 1, now we will find the value of m for case 2. So applying the same thing, conservation of momentum, the momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum after the collision. So 6 into 4, that's 0, equals negative 1.5 because this, in this case we are assuming that A will be, will be moving in the opposite direction. So negative 1.5 into 4 plus 3 into m so this will be 24 minus 6 plus 3m and 3m will be equal to 30 and m will be equal to 10 kgs So now let's find the kinetic energy uh, before the collision. The kinetic energy, we can say kinetic energy initial for case 1 will be half mv square. So half m is 4, v square is 6. So this will make up 72. And we can find the kinetic energy, the final kinetic energy after the collision. So kinetic energy is half mv square half into 4 into 1.5 square plus half into 6 half mv square half into 6 into 3 square. So this will make up 
plus 27. This will make up 31.5 joules. And so we can find the loss of kinetic energy. The loss of kinetic energy as 72 minus 31.5 which will be equals to 40.5 so for case 2 uh, this kin initial kinetic energy will remain the same because uh, this 10 kg mass is not involved so this will be half into 4 into 6 square 72 and the final kinetic energy for 4 kg will remain the same because the direction although the direction is different but it's v square so that a negative sign will not affect so this will be half into 4 into 1.5 square plus half into 10 into 3 square so this will make up 4.5 plus 45 which will be 49.5 and the loss of kinetic energy will be 72 minus 49.5 which will be equals to 22.5 so this will be our answer to part a the two possible values for the loss of kinetic energy 40.5 and 22.5 so that's it for question number four do like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you